Okay, I have the motor connectors connected. They're connected great. Let me turn some lights on. Right here. Well, right, right there. And you can just squeeze the connector, pull it down, and pull the uh, battery cable from the back, and, and do the other one on this side, and the whole thing can come off. I've got power, 24.7 volts, 12 volts coming through here, still a little dusty from cutting those holes. I'm going to have to epoxy. Um, a piece into the uh, case and then put the connector back in because I got the hole a little too big on this side that might just pop down um, or I can put a metal shim in there to hold it uh, other than that I've got the motor motors connected uh, this one here is uh, the power one, the red one, and I've got them connected this side to this side, which this is actually the right motor. I'm looking at it backwards. This is the front, that's the back, so this is the right motor. And I actually connected the right motor to the left one here. I'm going to have to tell the software that it's reversed because I had it set up to be left and right there. Or, this is supposed to be turned around. Uh, it's just more convenient for me to have the wire straight through. Um, I don't have a, uh, anything to connect the relay. Right here. Um, I want to connect those wires first. I just wanted to put it all back together. And get it all going. The alarm for 22 volts is set. That's all it'll do is flash the screen. Uh, and over voltage, if it goes to 25 volts, it'll flash the screen also. But that was one heck of a project getting all that done. I used a file on both sides here and uh, drilled the corners and then uh, used the step bit to drill the center and then uh, a, a Dremel tool to cut out most of it and then a file to refine it but I got a little carried away with the Dremel and I got this side a little too uh, too big on this one so it's it's just resting in there really loose I'll have to fix that other than that I think she's good to go I did have to cut out a pocket here for the case because this here should have been two and a quarter inches and I put two inches when I told them to do that and then there's an uh, they made the whole thing two inches I meant for this piece here the side piece to be two inches this would be an eighth that would be an eighth so that would be two and a quarter total and it would have just cleared this metal can and these are the only things that I would have had to cut out. But that's okay. Um, for now, that measurement was my mistake. This one here was still theirs. This, none of these are 45 degree angles. One's 50, one's 40, another one's another one. And it's just not, there's not enough room. They didn't put it three inches back. Uh, like I wanted, so I would have enough room here to put those um, uh, ultrasonic sensors. I don't have enough room, and my angles would be wrong, so it wouldn't, won't look right if I do that. So the ultrasonic sensors are going to come up here someplace, and one back here, maybe one on each side, and I'm getting some uh, uh, pan tilt mounts for each one so there's going to be four pan tilts and I'm going to use 
instead of servos I'm going to use step motors they're more fine movements and uh, more powerful holding torque I think so everything's wired back up more is wired I took out the power supplies um, the motor brakes I don't have connected they're just in the back of the unit in the unit I was going to test the, the, the direction of the mo of the wheels but I gotta have something connected to here I could probably use a switch but uh, I need to have something connected to here so that way I can turn on the power to the mo uh, ion motion control oh boy my back is killing me got a big light there come over this way and you can see it a little better but it's looking good. I think I've got plenty of room. I'm going to have to uh, rethink some things. Power supply might go over here for the 12 volt and then one over here for the Raspberry Pi. So that way I can keep as much room as I can in case I add more stuff to it. <laughs> 